Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and Mac OS Tahoe has been released after WWDC 25. There was a lot of talk this year on what Macs were going to be compatible, especially on the Intel side. Plus, we're going to talk about Open Core Legacy Patcher a little bit, and we're going to talk about a huge announcement that was just dropped as I was making this video. Let's go over that and more next. So this year is one of the first years in a long time that a lot of leaks were coming out about Macs and Mac OS. Usually we see a lot more iOS type leaks, but for the first time we had the number change to 26 and the year released, and we got the name released early, which is really interesting that all those things lined up and they were all leaked out ahead of time. And the name change and the 26 are a big deal because across the board, all the operating systems are now in alignment. You might be wondering, what is 26? Why not 25? It's more like kind of like a new car. For example, the new car that you'll buy in 2025 will be a newer 2026 model, the same as that. And most of the support will be in the middle of 2026. So that's where they kind of came up with that number. I'm still glad that Apple kept the name. I think that that's a tradition that goes all the way back to 2001 and OS 10, which was named Puma. And every OS since then has had some sort of a name. And I'm glad that they've kept that tradition. With that said, let's take a look at the supported Macs because there's some going back and forth because that those were released too as a leak ahead of WWDC. So if you go to the Mac OS Tahoe preview page, you'll see the compatibility list. Mac OS 26 is compatible with these devices. And you'll see the list here, along with a nice image, uh, which is kind of weird that they're missing the Mac Mini and they're missing the Mac Pro. Like that's just, usually they have the whole family picture here. So I don't know why they left that off. Now what's interesting is I was joking with McCola in chat earlier this afternoon about this, is that in nowhere here do they mention Intel at all. They just mention the years. And you'll look here and you'll see MacBook Air with Apple Silicon 2020 and later. And the reason why they say Apple Silicon is that there was a 2020 Intel MacBook Air, but that's gone. Um, they have MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon 2020, and later that means the 13-inch Apple Silicon M1 2020 and later. MacBook Pro 16-inch. Now, this is the first Intel Mac that still is supported. 2018 is gone. So, again, it's, it, a lot of those 16 inches were sold. I'm glad that to see that still on the list. And also, MacBook Pro 13 is 2024 Thunderbolt 3 ports. Intel is still here. Now, on the iMac side, 2020 and later, the M1 iMac did not come out until 2021. So, the 2020 is Intel. And that was the last Intel iMac release. Now, there was talk that the 2019 version was going to be supported, but that is not the case. And that was the early leaks about that were wrong. And with that said, that also means that all previous Macs, Intel based, without the T1 security chip, are no longer supported. And that included the 2019 iMac, which is weird that it went all the way to 2019 without a T2 chip especially since the iMac Pro was just kicked off the list this year, which is a monster of machine, Xeon processor. You can get up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. There's no way that that thing wouldn't be able to run. It's got the T2 chip. Apple, unfortunately, in my opinion, just dropped it off just because they were trying to take the hatchet as, to as many Intel Macs as they could while still giving support to some of the final Intel devices. Mac Mini 2018 is also dead. So only Mac Mini M1 2020 and newer are supported. Mac Studio obviously is supported. And then the Mac Pro 2019 Intel, which is obviously another beast, is still supported by Apple. Now, if we look here, I've got a image that was put together by the guys over at Apple Database. And it kind of shows which models were killed. So we've got the iMac Retina 4K 21.5 2019. Again, like I said, the iMac Pro. I, I just can't believe that that thing. I really like the iMac Pro. And you want to know what? I'm looking at picking up one of these guys when they go on a fire sale. Keep an eye out for this guy uh, when they start going uh, for good prices. There's the 2019 we were talking about. 5K 27 inch dead. 15 inch 2018 dead. 
and the 13 inch 2018 dead and the macbook air retina 13 inch 2020 also dead and of course the mac mini late 2018 is also dead so that rounds up, up the list of macs that are supported and that were left off the list for mac os tahoe now let's talk a little bit about open core legacy patcher and the death of intel macs for mac os support so where does that leave open core legacy patcher for unsupported macs well there's no public information available right now and we'll have to keep an eye in the coming days to see if any information is released to see if any of the Macs that we just talked about there will be supported by Open Core Legacy Patcher. When the betas drop, immediately the developers start testing, but give them some time. And I do not recommend installing until we hear from the developers. You can always check the supported page. You go over here and look at the supported models and you'll be able to see in the future as things change, this is the official place and only look here for the supported models for Open Core Legacy Patcher. But what you know that I'll keep you in the loop whenever there's a change or whether there's a supported version of Open Core Legacy Patcher uh, beta to be able to install macOS Tahoe beta. Now let's talk about the death of Intel. So I just made a video about this uh, while I was creating this video and basically it's my thoughts that Apple announced today that after Mac OS 27 or actually Mac OS 27 will no longer support Intel Macs. Now remember this is not like it's a, a huge surprise or any kind of a shock but as I say in this video uh, it's kind of my thoughts on the whole situation that it's when you see the image here it's final right apple has let us know that for sure that intel macs are dead and that means that in 27 mac os 27 there will be no supported intel so they'll be moving full force into apple silicon based macs uh, and i talk a little bit about security updates and open core legacy patch and all that in that video if you want to take a look at that but i'm just sad to see intel macs go um and I'm curious to know your thoughts on the devices that are on the list for supported Mac. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Are you happy that there's still some Intel Mac supported here? Are you unhappy that as many went when they could have just gotten one more year of the operating system and then pulled the plug? Um, I want to hear your thoughts. Keep an eye out. I'll be doing a bunch of videos on Mac OS Tahoe and Open Core Legacy Patcher coming up here. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.